with that being said i'm going to go back to the portal click home resource group in this case i'm only working on this resource group i think it was cyber lab or yep that's the one i'm going to create a windows 10 machine right now windows 10 what do we have here okay i'm going to go with this one microsoft click on this one create all right, I'm going to call this VM Windows, all right? As you can see, the subscription is set to the default one. Resource group is Cyber Lab. Make sure that everything is under the same resource group. If not, you're going to face a lot of troubles. Region, Australia East, all of them also need to be in the same region. Don't forget that. Availability option, we don't need any of that. I'm going to choose no. Security option, um, standard, Windows 10 Pro, use the default image. Uh, VM architecture is x64, x sorry. Okay, I don't want to use, uh, yeah, let's go ahead with the default one. Two CPUs, four gigabyte of memory. Username, I'm going to again choose cyber. Excel password is going to be a complex one. Don't use a generic password. So you, you see, do you guys remember when I talked about a uh, bastion service? As you can see here, it's telling and uh, talking about inbound port rules. Select which virtual machine network ports are accessible from the public internet. We don't want that. Yes, we want to expose these machines to the internet, but not through Azure network. We want to expose them to the internet only through the firewall. So if you enable this feature here, in this case, you're actually going to allow and expose these machines to accessible to the internet through Azure network. We don't want that. We don't want to bypass the firewall. We want to make sure all the traffic goes through the firewall and to the internet, not the other way around. So if you do that, if you enable this feature here, the inbound ports, you're actually going to expose these machines to the internet and anyone on the internet can directly RDP or SSH to these machines without going through the firewall. That's not good. That's not a good practice. The whole purpose of this lab is to make sure that there is a firewall in between checking everything. Hope that makes sense, guys. If it doesn't, let me know. So I'm going to check this to none. All right. I confirm I have eligible Windows 11. All good. I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm going to ch make sure the disk is not to it's not set to SSD. It's expensive. HDD suffice. Make sure this checkbox is clear, like it's checked. Delete with VM. What about the one next one next? Okay, virtual network cyber net, the same that I created. Subnet is CYDMZ, exactly the same thing. Public IP address, we don't need public IP address, none. Okay, network security group, we don't need it. All I'm, I want to do, all security related through the firewall. I want to make sure the NIC is deleted, the network interface card is deleted when the VM is deleted. So at the end of the lab, when everything is all done, you're happy, you're fine. We want to make sure that all the resources are deleted and we're going, and after deletion, we want to make sure anything that is associated associated with this VM is also deleted. So make sure to check this one as well. Load balancing, no need for that. Make sure it's none. Next, management. What do we have here? Enable basic plan for free. You can leave it as is. Enable auto shutdown. That's good. I want to make sure that all the machines are shut down by 11 p.m. by default. Because that's, if in any case I forget to shut down this VM, why doesn't it allow me? Okay, because of the time zone. 
I'm going to choose the right time zone and change it to 23 p.m. All right? All good. The reason I'm doing this, let's say I forgot to turn off this VM after I do this lap. With that enabled, it's going to make sure that this machine is all uh, turned off uh, at the end of the night, okay? I don't want to get any notification. I'm going to unmark this. Uh, backup, we don't need that. Guest OS update, we don't need that. Monitoring, make sure to enable boot diagnostics. Uh, if you want to do that, like if you want to enable this one, we have to create a storage account. So I'm going to create a new one. I don't like the name of that. I'm going to call it CY Diac. Easier, shorter. Storage general purpose standard. All good. <clears throat> okay. Next one is advanced. What do we have here? I don't want to do anything the, with these settings. Just click uh, next tag. No need to do any tagging here. Click review and create. Let's give it some time guys. It's going to review and validate the whole machine for us. Okay, validation failed. Let's have a look why it's failed. It's already taken the storage name that I created. So we have to go back to monitoring section again. I'm going to call it Cyber Excel Diac. Ah, I'm pretty sure that's not taken. Let's go review and create again. All good, validation is passed, perfect. I'm going to click on create now. All right guys, it's going to take a few minutes here. I'm going to pause the video and see you in the next few seconds. All right guys, good news. The Windows 10 VM is deployed without any problem. Let's have a look at the resource. So as you can see, it's not ready yet. Let's have a look and refresh it multiple. It will take some time. But overall, uh, there is no public IP address here. Just a, uh, a private IP address. 1010200.5. That's good. You don't want this machine to get exposed to the internet in from Azure network. Okay, while we're waiting for this uh, machine to start, I think it's good to have a look at our part here. We've done this one, the second one, and we can actually go ahead and uh, create our Linux machine here. So what you're going to do, go to home, resource group, our resource group that we've created earlier. I'm going to create another VM here called, I don't know, Linux VM test. And the operating system will be, in this case, Ubuntu. And I'm going to go with the older version, 18.04. Perfect, create. Mm, VM Linux, that's the name. Same subscription, same resource group. Australia is, no availability zone needed. I'm going to leave everything else as default. Yes, yeah, size the same. Administrative account. I want to make sure that uh, it is a password based, not public key. The best practice and the most secure ways to do it through SSH public key. But we don't have the time right now. We are just doing a lab scenario. So don't take it too seriously, guys. So the username will be against Cyber Excel, like the other VM. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want to memorize different username and password. Uh, again, no inbound ports allowed, none. We, don't, we are not going to assign any public IP addresses here. Click on next. Disk, make sure to change it to HDD. We don't want 
STD for a lab environment, networking, no public IP needed, guys, and uh, network security group, none, because we're going to use a firewall in this case. Delete link when VM is deleted, absolutely. Load balancing option, choose none. Management, we want to make sure boot diagnostic is enabled. Can we have it here? It's not here. Enable auto shutdown, absolutely. I'm going to change the time zone to my time zone. Where is Adelaide? Okay, I'm going to change it to 23 p.m. or 11 p.m. Sorry, guys. Uh, monitoring. Okay, this is really important. Make sure you enable boot diagnostic. I'm going to change and uh, ch use the same storage account that we created earlier. Advanced, nothing to change here, guys. Tag, we don't need any tagging like the other one. Review and create. Let's give it some time. Awesome, validation passed, perfect, that's great. Now all we have to do is just cre uh, click on create. It's going to take some time. I'm going to see you guys in the next few seconds. Cheers.